So anyway, I put out on Twitter earlier on today, because uh, it's such a beautiful day here today, uh, where should I ride to? The two choices were Buffalo River in Buffalo, or do I make it down to the Erie Canal at Tonawanda and try and go up there? And the boat was in, and everyone said, unanimously, 100%, uh, Erie Canal. So I've launched here at Chippewa. Um, nice place, free boat launch by the way. So we're in Niagara Falls, uh, Chippewa, and now we're gonna head out on the Niagara River and then over to the US side. I've already done my uh, uh, CBP Rome app, so I'm allowed to cross over to the States in case I end up getting off and going on land. So we're gonna make our way out of Chippewa and over to the United States and then up the Erie uh, Canal and see how far we can get. Even though it's about 825 kilometers long, I only think I'm going to be doing a few kilometers. I'm going to try and make it to, I think it's Lockport or Lakeport. I'm going to have a look on the map in a minute, which is about 25 kilometers from Tonawanda. So that's where I'm going to try and aim for today. So anyway, uh, join me. Uh, like I said, my name is uh, the Lake Erie Vlogger, but if you like and subscribe, you can call me Nigel. a full tank of gas today I don't know how they're gonna be out for um, I was hoping to be on the water by 10 a.m. it's uh, <laughs> midday I got delayed uh, with a CBP app it kept crashing and then uh, I got stuck in traffic getting down to Chippewa because they're resurfacing the road so it's just been a bit of a kerfuffle but we're on our way um, so let's, let's enjoy a new adventure uh, as we travel down to the Erie Canal glorious day 24 degrees Celsius, mid-May. Is it mid-May yet? Not quite mid-May. 24 Celsius. Is that close to 75 Fahrenheit? We're on the south side, I guess, of the Niagara River, the US side. But to give you a... So, so you can see how uh, strong the current is here. This is a, a buoy in the water, look at that. There's a really strong current here, you can feel it. Uh, there's actually more of a bit of a, a little wavy area here, like a bit of a swell, which you don't get on the... Uh, I've never got on the Canadian side. And just behind me, I think, is one of the entrances to the, um, the Erie Canal. But well, this is at the north end, so I'm going to go a bit further down and uh, go in from the south end, I think. So there's a little island here. And I'll go in the other way because uh, I think the bottom way would be where the ships or the bigger boats would have come up originally back in the day. So that's what I'm going to aim for. I just go down a little bit further and then we'll start our way onto the Erie Canal. I'll tell you what, before we go anywhere else, hold on. Look at this. The sun is uh, a little strong. Alright, 
by the looks of it. That's that. We go in here and then we turn to the right. Is that right? Yeah, we turn to the right, then aim left. So in we go. And then once we're in, we gotta to turn to the right, and then the, it splits into a creek, and then the left is the canal. So we're now in an old wake zone, so I gotta go really, really slow again. So let's have a quick look around. Well, there's our first bridge. I like a bridge, I like a lighthouse. I like a ship. So, uh, so we can find. Entering the Erie Canal. I'm excited about this, something new. A complete new adventure. That's still hell of a current. So he's five miles per hour, eight, nine kilometers an hour. It's gonna be a, a slow ride, but I'm gonna enjoy it. Look at this old bridge. Once upon a time, it would have uh, been in use and uh, rotated. This New York Central Railroad swing bridge was built back in 1892 and it's been inactive since around about the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, it's actually located at the mouth of the Tonawanda Creek, which I've mistakenly called the beginning of the Erie Canal, like most people do. You can see where nature is starting to reclaim the bridge once again. The trees are actually growing on the bridge. So it's been out of use for a very, very long time. Anyway, it looks like I have a lot of bridges to go down and under. So uh, I'm gonna put it on cruise control and uh, just stroll on down the canal. Something just caught my eye. Uh, they might be uh, private dogs, but Statue of Liberty and a tiger. I wonder what that kind of uh, represents. And also, a sea dude just like mine. Really old, rusty uh, bridge in front of me. Uh, lift bridge, that would be. It's about a concrete block on it. But my question is, how did Keith get up there to put his name up there? And who is Chris DVD? Chris DVD, and Keith is all the way at the top. It's a very unusual bridge, as you can tell by the concrete weight. This is the CSX uh, New York City Strauss Trunnion Bridge over Erie Canal at Tonawanda. And the lift mechanism was only used twice, apparently, and it was built back in 1919. A railway crossing bridge. That cement block is uh, quite worrying. I wonder how, uh, how much, well, it looks like quite a bit of it's already started to fall off. So this was built, it's right there, there's a plaque, 1918, 1919, 1918. So 105 years old, those foundations were laid. It's nice to find some historic stuff. Hey, it's one thing I can say right away, it's very picturesque down here. Uh, stunning. Uh, it's, it's, it's still spring. I can imagine in a couple of weeks when it's their Memorial Day weekend, which is just over two weeks away, uh, it's going to be packed. Uh, but as of right now, I've kind of got the, uh, the canal to myself. It's nice. This old place. I have no idea how far we're going to go down here today, but I'm enjoying this. Right, I'm not gonna lie, it's very tranquil, but I would have thought I might see a bit more historic stuff right down here, so I'm quite surprised. Um, all I'm seeing right now is just loads of private docks, and all private docks and houses along the way. It's very picturesque, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying the ride. But I was hoping to see something quite historic around here. Maybe once I get further out of the next bend, I might find something. So I'll just keep plodding on. 
I don't know when the no bleak zone ends because the dock ends here and I, I won't mind just picking up a little bit like to maybe 10 miles per hour. Don't want to piss anyone off. So follow the rules Nigel, follow the rules. But you know what? A little rebel won't hurt. There we go. Let's do eight miles per hour, just for a few minutes. So we can actually get somewhere. But I don't think I'm that far away now from uh, Lockport, South Lockport anyway. Um, the last hour, this is all I've seen. Finally, something has caught my eye on this bridge. Uh, depicting a canal barge being towed um, by a horse, trees. So back in the day, I guess the canal was very much similar to what it would have been like in the UK. Uh, <clears throat> before engines came along, uh, steam power coal and stuff like that, the point we used in many areas, um, a horse uh, pulled the barge along. And there would have been a trail pretty close to the canal. Uh, there is one right here, mind you, so I don't know if that's particularly what happened here, but I'm sure at some point along the canal, that would have been something back in the early days, before all the, uh, the engines came about and they all went on their own power. seeing signs now of what the canal, the, the, the banks of it. Look at these big blocks. And they're on either side of me. So this is now looking more like a canal to me. So I presume a long time ago, there's a path nearby, maybe up above or just there. And that's where they walked alongside it. It's usually where a canal is, it's usually a walkway. Or a path, I would say. Right, I have no idea where I am, because look at my map. Doesn't say much. Uh, we've been on the canal now for about an hour and a half. Uh, I like to believe Lockport is not far away. Actually, it looks like granite. That's like the actual rock of the land itself. It looks like they may be carved through the uh, the land. That doesn't look like stone they've placed here. It looks like they've carved through it. To read up on it and find out, but I've got a feeling it might have blasted through here. All right, just going to stop the video right there because I did find out some more information. Uh, this section of the uh, canal is one of the last sections that was built, and it's part of the Niagara Escarpment, so they had to uh, blast through all this rock to create the canal uh, to make it connect with Lake Erie. Uh, so with over 1,200 mostly Irish workers, they blasted through seven miles of rock, and that is how they achieved it. Even more interesting is a big gate down here which controls the flow of water again, like a sluice gate. Off. 
Cody. Hey, up! Time to use the IDF. I've sucked something up. Oh, great! Not used IDF for a while. All right, you get to watch me now. All right. Stop engine. Tells you what to do. Hold the IDF button. Engaging. Press start. Apply throttle. Engaging. Ready to start. That worked. See, the idea is bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant it is. I must have sucked something up just back there when I stopped to look, look at that waterfall. But hey, the IDF just cleared it right out and on we go. the bigger boats back in the day. Right along here. So uh, anyway, I'm in Lockport. Uh, it's about to go into it. So I'm back into a complete no weak zone. So I'm gonna crawl right in at this speed. It's nearly two hours to get here. And I still gotta get back and I wanna be home in time for dinner. So, uh, well, we're not going to go far in, we'll have a little look, but uh, yeah, I've been exploring the Erie Canal here in upstate New York from Buffalo to Longport. It really is feeling like more like a canal here than what it did back up there. I'm going up to a, a lock, which I'm not going to go through today. Uh, but I will plan on going through there. I think later on in the summer, I might come down here, see if someone else wants to join me, and we'll go even further, make a full day out. Maybe see if get someone to meet us at the event with our trailers, so we don't have to ride all the way back. This bridge lifts up. Huge. Well, you would have lifted up because I can see the middle of it. Well, maybe it doesn't lift up. There is a lot of anchor points in it. The bridge doesn't actually move or lift up in any way. The, the bridge is actually named Big Bridge, one of the widest bridges in the world, measuring it at 399 feet in width and 129 feet in length. And it was built back in 1914. So uh, there we have it, we're immediately down to the, the first set of locks here in the Erie Canal, uh, down at Lockport, but I'm not going to go through them, I'm going to make my way back up to uh, Tonawanda, I might have to go to that bar and get a quick beer before I go anywhere, and then head home, but it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. Wow, I've caused quite a bit of a wake in, I was going slow. 
All right, we're gonna head back towards uh, Tunnel Wonder now. Come this far, now head back. Next time I come here, or come earlier in the day, and we'll start filming from this spot here, and we'll go through the locks, and we'll have a walk through town. Or I might even drive over here and launch somewhere in the, uh, that might be a better idea. I might drive to Lockport and launch and then make my way over that way. 